Hi everyone, thanks for joining us for another episode of Unscripted Coding. Today we're going to do something really simple. Uh, I have a handful of HTML files, handful meaning two, that are basically Hello World files. There's, there's nothing in them. Um, but what I want to do is just host them statically on a, a domain that I bought. So I went on porkbun.com, think Namecheap, think GoDaddy, basically any of these um, domain registrars will do fine. And I bought this uh, site, reference.legal. And all of these name registrars, whether you go on GoDaddy, tends to be a little more expensive, uh, Namecheap, whatever you have, uh, they will have details for you. And so I have screenshotted it because there have been, there is uh, a bunch of sensitive information here, but basically you get a bunch of name servers and that will get you going. We've done this before elsewhere, but you can host static files on Azure. Basically, you start up a storage account. So I am going to create a new resource group. What do we call this? Uh, site, okay. Um, storage account name. Reference.legal static site. And less, less, less. Um, so you need storage version two to be able to host a static site. If you do version one, um, it won't work. I don't need any particularly fancy set uh, networking. Data protection, advanced tags. Oh, what am I missing here? Oh, only lowercase. All right, is that under 24? Yeah, that is. Networking, data protection, and fan. Okay. That looks good. We'll take a look at that later. <laughs> Mapping a custom domain. So there are all sorts of little pieces um, that you have to be worried about. It's not the best way to do it, but I just want to throw up a couple pages onto the domain while I work on something else in the back end. Um, and one of the big problems is you're not going to be able to support HTTPS unless you use Azure CDN. Um, so you can't use a secure method. I'm not doing any accounts, sensitive information, anything really. I just want to host a bunch of pretty pictures by the end of it. So. Um, not so important for me. This is not the best way of doing it, honestly. And Porkbun, and I think virtually every uh, domain registrar will have um, packages that let you uh, host static sites. So they will give you a, a control panel, all of that, usually just for a couple bucks a month. Um, it's not very scalable, so if there's a million customers that come at your site immediately, it's not going to hold hold up very well. But for a couple bucks a month, if you want to have something just there, that's probably the better idea. But for me, I'm looking at something super low key. I know what my requirements are, and and I don't want to pay a dime for it. So um, that's where I'm at. Uh, as usual, not always the most logical way of doing this, but uh, we're going to do it anyway. So um, let's go to our resource. Uh, okay, static website. So you have to enable it, obviously. Um, and the home path is going to be index.html. 
they have an error path as well. That is your 404. So um, when you can't go anywhere, when you put something wrong, um, that's where you'll go. I don't have a page set up for that yet, but let's save that. <clears throat> and they give you this nice little web page. So I, I, I don't have anything in index.html yet, but you get to go to a storage explorer. You go to the blog container and cache dollar sign web and you can start uploading files. So let me just move this aside, make sure I get to the right. Okay. Oops. okay. So uh, I have an index HTML file. Hmm. Do I need any of this? I think it matters. Okay, upload. And if we go here, there we go. We have my really crappy hello world. I've labeled it index. I wish I kind of did two paragraphs instead, but that's fine. Next step I want to see is uh, using my own domain. So they have a step-by-step -step reference. So that is helpful. Uh, map a domain. Um, get the host name. Okay, um, so I am going to stop talking because I think this will take a bit and I'm afraid I'm going to have to move some of this off screen. There is kind of sensitive information, but luckily I will link to this page. It will walk you through it. I'll kind of take screenshots as I go with paint so you guys can take kind of a look at what's happening here. So. I will be back. Okay, so we have gotten uh, a working page here. So if I go www.reference.legal, um, it has my index page. And if I go with equitable relief.html, I get the next page. Um, I did need to turn off. So if I go into encryption, I needed to turn off secure transfer required. Um, you could have turned that off when you were spinning this up. And that was, yeah, that makes everything require HTTPS, which they right off the bat warned us that it wouldn't be supported without CDN. Um, the real frustrating part was that you couldn't set the custom domain in the portal. Uh, I think that's because I chose um, Storage Explorer version two. I think they wanted not version one, but the third option because it, it, it's just not an option here. So what you could do, uh, and what I did do was go into uh, a PowerShell. Uh, I just spun this one up. I'm gonna take it down right after. Um, I'm gonna take it down right after, but it's one simple command. Again, I'm going to give you the web page. You put the resource name that we, when we spun up the storage page, uh, the storage account name, and finally your custom domain. So it was a, a very simple one line 
um, very straightforward one line command. Now, um, that could be enough, but the one thing I wanted to do is I, I don't think anyone really types .html anymore. So essentially what I want to do is do some of the routing so that when it says, let's not even call it equitable relief, let's, let's call it like test, um, it would just go to the right HTML page. So let's say this, it doesn't exist obviously, so um, it pops up an error. And what I wanted to do is uh, just fetch that HTML file. And I've seen this page before on routing in static web apps. So uh, I figure this is gonna be the solution. So I will get on that. Okay, so unfortunately, I don't think I could do what I wanted to do. Um, this question seems to have been asked on Stack Overflow uh, different times, but basically I was reading wrong. Um, routing here is for web apps and not our blob storage. And so blob storage is meant for something very limited. I said so from the start, it's basically for when you want host your domain right off the bat with something to park it. Uh, for me, I bought reference.legal. It's a decent domain, I think. .legal isn't very popular. But you think about reference.com. That's been taken ages, well, 1995, so more than 20 years ago. Um, and so the idea is as soon as you find something that fits, something good, um, you should just buy it even if your project isn't quite done yet. .com domains are like 10 bucks a year. Um, some of these go up to 20 or $30 a year. So it's not, it's not a lot of money and you don't wanna worry about six months down the line, somebody taking your name. So what you wanna do is just buy it and, and put something really simple up, just basically an advertisement for your app. And so I'm planning to make this uh, decent looking soon but the real problem is none of this slash test or https all of that isn't very well done and so i think what i'm going to do is move to a web apps in another episode maybe a few weeks down the line because for now i'll just have some sort of home page here but i won't be hosting additional files like the random one that I had here. Uh, you know, .html, nothing wrong with that. I used to actually, uh, I, I built a website long ago where everything was HTML files written from scratch, linking, linking, linking. Um, and it got reasonably big. So uh, nothing wrong with that. It's just um, the world's moved on a little bit. So uh, what have we learned? Um, Using a storage account, you can host a static page for practically nothing on Azure. You'll have to buy the domain name, obviously, but uh, you can host it on this kind of weird uh, web.core.windows page as well for, for basically nothing. The limitation is you can't have HTTPS, um, and if you do have a custom domain, you'll need www. So if I go like this, it, it, it won't work. You need the www. Uh, and last thing is that whole routing thing is, is just not functional. So um, if you want that all to work, you're going to move it over to web apps probably, or something else. And so that's going to come in another episode and then a couple episodes, probably more than a couple episodes down the line, I'm going to try and move back to what we've been building all this time using serverless, Django, get it all working with a custom domain. And, you know, hopefully you guys will, will take a look at what reference.legal will be in the future.
So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a comment. If you didn't, uh, also leave me a comment because I want to make content that's relevant, that's useful, that hopefully will spark some new ideas, spark some new projects. And, you know, maybe maybe you guys can build the next startup with, um, you know, a handful of websites, uh, web tools. That, that we're talking about. So uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned next week for yet another episode. See you later.